Hi dear students, in this special series on subject wise strategy, we are going to identify all the important topics that you must keep in mind before you start working on a subject. We will be looking at the trend for each subject and then mapping it to all the tasks in the app so that you can prepare better and score better. In this video, we will look at the strategy for preparing dental histology. Now, dental histology is one of the basic subjects that you must know regardless of how important or difficult or uh, popular it is in your NEET MDS exam because it lays the foundation of a lot of conceptual things in perio and also in oral path. So if you look at the trend of dental histology, uh, the weightage although is only 7 questions every year but you will see a lot of parallel uh, topics like I told you with other subjects and there has been a consistent uh, number when it comes to and the numbers have been pretty consistent all through the years. So let's look at the uh, questions that were asked in the previous NEET MDS exam and map them to the specific topics that I have on my left hand side. And with this approach, we'll be able to identify the focus areas for dental histology and you can uh, channelize your preparation according to these topics. So one by one, we'll assign these questions and we'll see what's important according to previous year questions. So the first question is on ameloblasts, they are originated from ectoderm. Then a question, a clinical image, a microscopic image on stri of Regius, that's enamel. Then a question on dentine, the exact definition of pre-dentine. Then sclerotic dentine appears dark under microscope. Then a question on duct of Wharton, which is the duct of submandibular gland. Leminin and fibronectin are examples of glycoprotein seen in the oral mucous membrane. Enamel knot is a transient structure determining the shape of the tooth. So that's enamel during tooth development. Gene involved in odontoblastic differentiation. Type of collagen in one Croft's fibers is type 3. Calcified lining of dentinal tubule is known as lamina limitans. Plexus of Rashko is found in cell free zone of wheel. Now this question could also belong in endo. So here is an explanation of the innovation of the pulp complex with the key concept. Key concept is more precise. The explanation is rather detailed so you can whenever you have a doubt with regards to any question make sure you open the explanation take down the notes from explanation in your notebook or the workbook and then follow the key concept for reinforcement simultaneously you can also watch the mcq explanatory videos now these videos are explained in a way where you can eliminate obvious questions or uh, obvious options it, it gives you a strategic understanding of how to tackle a question and it also gives you a lot of parallel knowledge that will help you solve more questions on the same topic then the next question is fiber group that bears maximum masticatory force and transfers it to tension to the alveolar bone pdl question which of the following contributes to tensile strength of bone collagen the antibacterial action of saliva is because of aminopeptidase. Then a question on contraction of cell myoepithelial cell secretions. So a lot of questions coming up from salivary glands. Then maturation of keratinocytes, that's oral mucous membrane. Which of the following is not found in the root, for sure enamel. Identify the number of components constituting hydroxyapatite crystals. Identify the stage of amylogenesis. This is maturation stage, an image based question. Then sequence of zones of pulp. Right. Again, don't forget to go through the explanation because they will have a lot of illustrations which are very pictorial and they will help you remember the concepts easily and the key concepts will have a lot of tables and flowcharts too you can also watch the video explanation which of the following is true regarding crown root ratio so that's tooth development 
then a histology of mucus acini salivary gland then types of secretion of different types of gland now this question a lot of uh, previous year before the earlier neat exam before neat exams were introduced a lot of questions on this topic were seen so mirocrine epocrine holocrine you must go through these explanations too okay that belongs to salivary gland then next is identification of serous diminutions then this is uh histo identify the cells shown in the histological section found in the basal layer of epithelium which is merkel cell so omm then a, then a schematic image or rather a picture of cubernocular canals identify the stage of tooth development this is advanced pell stage okay then we have extrusion of teeth is prevented by alveolar crest and horizontal group of fibers pdl ameloblasts are enamel forming cells odontoblasts are derived from neural crest cells and fibers cells responsible for eruptive forces are fibroblasts pdl factual question on the volume of maxillary sinus then another question on salivary glands with the striated duct cells showing increased number of cytoplasmic mitochondria myoepithelial cells again salivary glands odlen body seen in stratum granulosum thin delicate membrane covering the entire crown of newly erupted teeth is nasmith's membrane to development calcified dentinal tubule wall has inner lining this question is similar to that we saw in 2023 neat so this is an exact replica just the language is a little different then transfer of metabolites in pulp is with fenestrated capillaries which of the following pdl fibers prevent extrusion of tooth this is same as the one we saw in 2020 neat paper alveolar crestal right then which enzyme is seen in stratum intermedium and the answer is alkaline phosphatase so as you can see on the left side there is a lot of questions that appear from development of tooth and salivary gland and then questions from pulp dentin and enamel are almost the same no questions from cementum now that doesn't mean that you will neglect cementum because you may have questions in perio so based on uh, how it is placed or based on the kind of application that they are asking so you must focus on tooth development salivary glands and the four major structures that is dentin uh, enamel pulp and omm so these should be your priority when you are preparing for dental histology but at the same time make sure that you are not completely neglecting the other topics because they have the potential to be asked in the subsequent exam and uh, over the years we've also seen that most of these exams sometimes they will focus only on uh, one set of tissues like you will you will see a lot of questions on omm in one exam some exam you will see a lot of questions on enamel so it's it's likely that they may not be very evenly distributed amongst all the topics so keep yourself prepared for that now how do you keep yourself prepared for that and the answer is follow the tasks that are given in the app so when you open the tasks you will see a lot of uh, preparation material a lot of videos explanations so suppose if you want to prepare salivary glands then you can watch the workbook video that will explain thoroughly and you can also go through the charts and tables and the illustrations given under each topic now these uh, images are carefully picked from standard textbook so that you have the same pictorial memory that you require for your neat exam you will have a lot of factual questions underlined and highlighted and you can make a note of these in your notes and workbook now once you finish the preparation here next step is to prepare uh questions that means practice questions one by one and then finally take tests and now i will tell you how to maximize your preparation with meritors app now there are five things to keep in mind when you start your preparation for any subject at any given point of time Number 1 is to start with tasks. Like I said, tasks are the building blocks. They are your foundation and fundamental for any subject. 
you need to start preparing for the task with the workbook you you must look at the video if you have any doubts regarding the topic and then practice questions and then you can take the test now whenever you are taking a test or practicing questions each question comes with the answer explanation and key concept the explanation will be elaborate it will tell you everything that you need to know about the topic it is a good source of taking down notes because a lot of additional questions can be asked from the existing explanations right and if you are well versed with the topic you can just look at the key concept and reinforce the topic in your mind additionally a lot of questions also come with multiple choice question videos which are explanatory videos they are going to talk about how to eliminate options how to strategically focus on the question and additional knowledge that comes with the topic so your first aim should be to complete all these tasks for a given subject and then move on to the next thing that is q bank now q bank or question bank is a collection of high yield extensive questions they are clubbed together in uh, topics they are clubbed together chapter wise and you will have more hands on experience on difficult and extensive preparation on these questions again they will come with explanatory videos explanations and key concepts so once your tasks and q bank for a given subject are complete you are good to appear for the weekly checkpoint tests now the tests are of two types in the app one is the weekly checkpoint test and self paced test i'll tell you about the weekly checkpoint test first so suppose if you are preparing one subject over the week then at the end of the week you will have a test which is going to focus on that specific subject plus the subjects that were previously prepared right so that kind of snowballs the entire revision strategy you will have a repeated encounter of multiple subjects from time to time so you do not forget it's easier to keep these topics in mind when you constantly see them so the revision is reinforced plus you also get personalized ai recommendations right so at the end of your test based on your performance you will get how many questions you answered what was the score how much was the negative marking where are you lacking what are your stronger points and then it will tell you how much time to dedicate for a revision of your weaker subjects so with this strategy you will be able to focus on specific areas that are your weaknesses now that is an exceptional feature of meritus app and the next set of test is self paced test which you can take at any given point of time these are subject wise test you can also have cumulative tests multiple recall questions also incorporated in form of tests and towards the end of your preparation phase you will have a lot of volatile factual high yield questions uh, in form of final strokes which are again specialized test to be able to remember these topics clearly before the exam now once you come closer towards the end of your preparation you will have access to this special feature of the app called marathon this is activated towards the end of your preparation where you will have 3500 plus high yield questions high yield questions meaning they have the chances to uh, be seen in the exam because either they are based on recall questions or because they are based on important concepts that are repeatedly seen in the exam so when you practice these 3500 plus questions you will also enter an all india competition where you will get a fair idea as to how your performance is with comparison to your colleagues it's a great boost of confidence if you take it at the right time and lastly we have the all famous national mocks which is a pan india or all india nation wide uh, simulation of neat mds exam we conduct them uh, towards the end of your preparation in a few months to go and every weekend you will have access to this special test you will see a lot of new questions in national mocks uh, which are based on important topics so do not miss national mocks because it gives you a good hands on experience of the exam it gives you an idea of time management because this is exactly according to neat pattern that is 240 questions and 3 hours with negative marking so you you kind of get a very fair and square idea of your performance because this is again an all india competitive uh, mock exam and you will get personalized ai recommendations here as well now they are more important for uh, national mocks too because uh, towards the end when you are revising you will not know which subject to pick up at what time and your performance in the national mock will be assessed thoroughly and you will get your ai recommendations which will tell you which subjects to revise so make sure that you are making use of all of these features in the app 
Now, apart from that, if there is any query that you have while solving your questions, if you have any doubts regarding any topics, you can always contact the faculty on the WhatsApp group. We are always here to help you. And I hope with this in mind, you'll be able to channelize all your preparation strategy in the right direction. And I hope we'll be able to help you achieve your dream seat in MDS. Thank you so much and good luck from Team Meritors.